In this video, I'm going to teach you how to change DPI in Razor Synapse. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. By using Razor Synapse 4 or 3, you will be able to change the DPI values attributed to any model of Razor mouse. So, I'm showing you the death adder as an example here, but of course, it will work with any other mouse. Even if it doesn't have a dedicated DPI button like this one, you will still be able to change those values. You can set it to one value only so it never changes or you can add multiple stages and easily swap between them. So first, download the latest version of Razer Synapse. Assuming that you don't already have it downloaded, you can download it by going to the official Razer website and then choosing the Synapse option. Simply look for Razer Synapse on Google. I recommend Razer Synapse 4 which is the latest version available. Download Razer Synapse 4 or 3 if you like the old version. Once it is downloaded, you simply have to plug your Razer mouse into your PC or laptop. This will be primarily done using a USB cable or wirelessly if you have a more modern mouse. Once it is properly connected, simply opening up Razer Synapse should be enough to bring it up so it will immediately appear under the devices. If it does not appear here automatically, then restart your PC or reconnect the Razer mouse. Now click on the specific mouse that you will be modifying and switch over to the performance tab. So on Razer Synapse 4 or 3, you will have the performance tab between customize and lighting. And in here, you can change the sensitivity, aka DPI. By default, they have five stages that it swaps between. You can change the number of stages if you only want set values. So you can change it from five to four, three, two, or one. And you can make it so there are no stages. So if you only want a fixed value, make sure that you disable these stages. That way you can never accidentally swap between them. If you want to customize a particular stage or a fixed one, just click on it and then change the amount displayed on this text field here or use this slider at the bottom. Regardless of how you choose to change it, it will be modified immediately and all of those settings will be saved into your mouse. You don't have to run Razer Synapse every single time. I hope I was able to help you on how to change DPI Razer Synapse. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.